This is Pisces Communication class at the Communications and New Media Department, Masters of Social Sciences Communication, and we are running a press conference simulation where students will have to answer questions to the journalists. As they are preparing for the press conference simulation, what are the top three feelings that they have in mind? And second, what they hope to see in their own presentation this afternoon. Now, if you are ready, just follow me. I'm very excited about what we're going to see. Nervous because we don't know what to expect. Honestly, I just hope that we're able to defend ourselves and uh, uh, get out of this situation unscathed. <laughs> I'm excited because I want to get into journalism, so this is a very nice experience. Like, very intrigued because I'm getting to know new things. Like, talking to a huge group of people who are very different, collaborating with them, and uh, like learning more about Crisis Com because that's a new field for me. I am nervous, a little um, excited and also eager to learn i guess based on the theories that we have discussed in class we were in a good position to decide which stance we want to take which argument do we want to push forward and which information do we want to hold back so i think this way it gives us credibility because it gives us confidence and it gives us the power to make clear decisions nervous um curious and excited because it is my first time in this kind of um, setting. I hope to learn more from the different groups and the different scenarios in case in future any actual crisis pops up, right? So hope I can be able to deal with that better. A little bit nervous. I mean, uh a lot nervous <laughs> yeah but also it's exciting because i didn't have like this kind of experience before i want to challenge myself to do that like to be a spokesperson i'm excited because this is the first time i'm doing something like this a little bit nervous because i'm going to be one of the panelists it's very interesting that we get to interact with real-time journalists i do not know if we'll ever get an opportunity like this ever again so i'm really looking forward to it